it's time to prime the cabinet now this one here has got some holes in which was due to where we put the straight edge to to cut the lines and this one here is the kick plate where I thought I couldn't get access to the screws but in hindsight I can but they're all nice and smooth now and once we've got the first coat of prime on we should find out whether the holes are nice and flat or whether we need to put some more filler in okay so it feels smooth but when you rub your hands over the MDF it's it's got different textures at different points so it's like rougher in certain places so what we're going to do is sand it um, to get it really really smooth so we can get the the prime on with a as flat as we can so I'm going to sand it with 600 then I'm going to rub it over with 1200 that's really really fine but it should still give a little bit of um, texture for the paint to adhere to okay and we're going to do around the sides as well even the non-visible areas just in case any any moisture gets in because it's it's going to be kept in the garage and that will stop any expansion and I'll, obviously we'll be able to test the paint as well to see whether it's any good with the cut edges so we're going to be doing both sides um, the visible part will be done three times Okay, we've sanded everything down, given it clean, nice and smooth, and it's time for the priming. Um, it's a special MDF primer, but you can probably use any acrylic. What we're going to use is a sponge roll for gloss, and the, um, the way of doing it is to load the roller. Make sure it's not too much on. And then on the first coat, or every coat, you use all of the roller up. You don't keep on refilling, you just keep on going until the roller runs out completely. That way you won't get lumps everywhere. Not too much pressure either. It doesn't matter which direction you're going as long as you finish in one direction. Okay, so we're not going over anything twice either, we're just putting the first coat of primer on. I'm just filling in the little gaps that I've missed. Okay, and then we finish each one. In the direction that we're going to have the finished paint. This is what I'm going to do around the sides as well. What I'll probably end up doing is just doing the undersides once, or maybe twice, if we've got enough primer left. The key thing is to get the, the visible parts for the main paint done. Okay, and that's that little bit done. And I'll come back once it's um, dried. And I've done the main one. Okay, then the side of the cabinet's been painted and it's dried overnight. Pretty rough. Um, so I've just been going over it to check for any bumps. And there's a slight one here. Um, you can feel it better with once the primer's on and this bump there was probably caused by a screw on the other side when, when we did the, the straight edge down and I think I probably just went a little bit too far in so I need to get the belt sander onto there to get it smooth um, and then everything else should be fine for sanding down forgot to mention after the first full coat of prime for everything we went through about um, just over a third of the paint so we should get three coats on the on the main bits of wood and maybe two on the rest and then after the second coat I'm going to move up to 600 grit 
and then the third quarter prime it'll have 1200 grit. I've sanded the um, first layer down and I used wet and dry 240 grit I know that's um, grainier than the 1200 and 600 that we'll put on to the MDF but this is just the first coat and it's just going to take off that layer of paint just a fine layer because I mean 240 is still really quite fine and the paint's quite smooth now there's not much in the way of bumps Obviously, that's where I've had to sand down a hole so I'll have to fill that in a little bit it's a little bit rough here but overall it's very nice so what we're going to do now is prime it with another coat of primer and a brand new roller so every time I put a coat on um, I'll throw the rollers away that way we'll get a fresh set every time and it's, the rollers are cheap enough and the second coat went on really really quickly and it didn't use up a great deal of paint I guess because uh, the, there was no MDF to soak it all up like the first coat and as you can see it's pretty well nice obviously the key is not to use the roller very heavy because as soon as you put a little bit of pressure you end up with streak lines in which case you just roll them out lightly the opposite direction then finish with the, the paint again but that's looking exceptionally nice okay oh, I'll try and get a upshot great and I'll just go and finish the rest of the paints um, what do you call it I'll just go and finish the rest of the bits of MDF